morning all. I wrap Steve with your morning flash update and this update is for Wednesday the 5th of July 2023 and we're at 8:20 a.m. Central Time. So, it's a strange week. We had this holiday in the middle of the week. Traffic was extremely light in Chicago. I was out of town for the day and uh, got back uh, today. And I'm telling you, there's you don't have the normal traffic. So I imagine a lot of people are just uh, calling this their vacation week and taking some time off. That's my guess. Now, we have a lot going on. You're getting a bit of a correction in the stock indices. Not a surprise. But what will be a surprise is if it stays down. The seasonals at this time of the year, as we come in on the 5th to the 7th, generally cause a bottom in the stock markets, and you try to get a rally out of it. We'll see if that's the case. <coughs> Gold, up a good amount, $12 here. We're looking at the a pretty narrow trading ranges in the currency market. The New Zealand dollar popped last night. That was about the only currency that really made a move. If you look at everything else, exceptionally quiet, not going one way or the other. The Now, OPEC is meeting in Vienna, and the seminar is kicked off, as they call that. And you can see how the market is taking off. The question is, what are they going to do? And that's as good a guess as anyone. Not open yet in the grains. They'll reopen uh, in just a little bit here. And as they get themselves going, we'll see just how the weather impacted it. You know, we had crazy weather across the United States. We'll have to see what that's going to do. Uh, rain breaking uh, um, events in some areas that certainly helped the drought conditions. All right. So we take a look at today's da uh, data, but before I get to that, and this is where it'll be, let's take a look at this just for a second. We still have our Independence Day sale. A lot of you have taken advantage of it. It will go until Friday. It'll shut off, I don't know what time during the day Friday, but you got about 48 hours left on it. Any of my research products, that's my morning subscriber videos, videos, my morning ETF video or the combination of research where you get my twice daily or more written updates. I use or more because I'll put out special ones and things of that nature. My special reports, 50% off. You can go for it for a 30-day period. You can buy it for one year. You get one choice. You're not going to be able to go and say, oh, you know, I tried it for 30 days. Now will you give me 50% off for the year? Not going to work that way. So, I advise you to take advantage. This is for new and returning members. IraEpstein.com, and you can always move your cursor to the top here, take advantage. You have hours left on this. Hope you do take advantage of it. Now, as I said, we have data coming out right now. Retail sales have been hovering at about a half a percent better. This is uh, for the first five weeks of June versus June 2022. Retail sales were up seven tenths in the week ending July 1st versus a year ago. Factory order data will come out around nine. That's been slow, you know, we've been watching industrial production slow. We'll see if that picks up. But the day focus is gonna be on the FOMC minute, minute uh, meetings. Why? Because now we get to see what the Fed was thinking. What were they saying? What did they put down in writing? And remember, we're right around the corner from another FOMC meeting. Tomorrow you get the JOLTS report. Friday you get the JOBS report. So you got to keep that right in the back of your mind. We get the API numbers. Australia left its cash target rate at 4.1%. And as much as Janet Yellen is now on her way to China for a big high-level meeting, China announces export controls on germanium and gallium. Now, those are used in uh, microchip manufacturing, so they're attacking. Some American companies, you'll see the jump in the stock market if they uh, manufacture those because they'll have to expand production. And then we're hearing that the Biden administration is ready to get for another tat for tat as they go, and maybe cloud computing is going to get shut off to uh, some Chinese companies. So it's a strange time for Ms. Yellen to be going. I don't know what can be accomplished with all this going on, but it's something you got to think about. Again, take advantage of the sale. You'll see the independent sale comes to an end. You don't get these 50% off very often. Keep in the back of your mind. You can try for 30 days. Our normal price for the future is $7.95. It's less than a McDonald's super meal, and you're going to get 20, 22 days of videos, I think you'll find it well worth more than that 
hamburger and fries that goes away very quickly. I'm Ira Epstein. You have yourself a great day. I'll see you at the end of the day with the market wrap-up.